Hey Tim, look at this. Eh, uh, needs work. Eh. Hey Tim, how about this? Uh, still needs work. Darn it. How about this? Nice, high five. Hey there everybody, how's it going? My name's Tim. And my name's Michael. And you're watching the TMI Show. That's the Tim and Michael Information Show. And today we're doing something a little different. I don't we think are. we've ever done it on TMI before. I know I certainly haven't done it on any webisode or online thing. It's movie review. Ta-da! And um, it's funny, because every time I watch one of these, I'm always like, I, I wish I could find one that doesn't do any spoiler alerts. It doesn't do any... So I think I'm actually going to still try to attempt to. We'll just it's see. It's going to be really hard. Well, we'll just we'll really see hard. what happens. Uh, but today we're talking about the Lego movie, which I just saw yesterday. And I saw it a couple weeks ago, and it is so well done. Mm -hmm. I think this might be the first time... Um, in our lives. I and mean, we've seen a lot of toys or mm -hmm. childhood memories adapted for cinema. We've had Transformers, you know, we've had more recently Battleship, and then, you know, Barbie has put out tons of movies. But it always kind of takes those characters and lifts them out of what we remember and puts them in their own world. I mean, the Lego movie is so unique because mm -hmm. these are Lego people inhabiting a completely Lego world. And I mean, it's Legos as we remember them. Yeah, and, and, and I was talking with uh, with Tim earlier, and I've actually been telling a few people this, and I don't know if it's a um, a direct response, but uh, I would say it's Warner Brothers' response to Wreck-It Ralph, mm -hmm. uh, you know, which uh, Disney did. And again, it's, it's not um, like anybody maybe in the studio said, oh, that's our answer. At least I don't think so. Um, but in the same sort of approach and in the same sort of style, uh, where they took something that's very universal for everybody to sit down and enjoy, uh, young and old ages and families and friends. Mm -hmm. um, they also took something that's, um, at, at, like I said, the, the top gear of it of everything is something that's very universal to your audience. But there's this big core in it that if you get the joke, as, as the phrase goes, or if you know what it is that they're referencing or what they're talking about because that was part of your childhood and you're not necessarily a child anymore, mm -hmm. um, it kind of harkens to you and you go like, oh, wow. I think, I think Rekka Ralph and Lego Movie both did that really well. Kind of like as you were talking about like all these different characters, Barbie is Barbie. Right. I think Barbie's been Barbie for a while and Barbie's always going to be Barbie. I don't think Barbie is going anywhere. Barbie came out with a game. She's got a really? company. Yeah, yeah, see, but that's your thing. Really, you know? <laughs> I mean, and, I think um, that's really my market or anything. I don't keep up on the Barbie. I, ha I have to keep up on games. Uh, but um, that's my excuse. Well, no, uh, actually, it, it's funny because my nephew just got a Xbox 360 mm -hmm. for um, Christmas. And what do you get a nine year old and his younger sister? Uh -huh. um, Xbox console. Usually, if you're looking for, you know, the family friendly and the kids, the Wii has Mario and every other fun thing you can think about, including um, some Barbie games. Yep. But your response was really, no, if anybody says a Lego game, your eyes perk up immediately. Oh, yeah. I mean, how many Lego games have we had even? We've I, all been there. Uh, Star Wars mm -hmm. has three, you know, right. uh, Indiana Jones. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, mm -hmm. uh, Batman has two Lego games. Uh, I mean, it's it's a very popular business. So the point yes. I was trying to make is that um, you have a lot of these uh, companies who, for the better uh, portion of their business, make uh, toys geared for kids. Mm -hmm. And um, they've always been successful and timeless. Uh, but to come up with a game that all of a sudden peaks you to a new level and a new branch of audience of all ages, Lego did that, and I don't think they've done it quite like anybody else. So for them to come up with a movie on top of that, oh yeah, whew, uh, like I was kind of breathless. I I, I, I cried a couple times yeah. when I was watching it, just because I and I don't want to say during which moments, you know, because probably <laughs> I can guarantee you. Uh, if I were to say, you'll know which, what they are. Well, well, no, I would say no. I would say the moments really? that I cried out were not moments that anybody would cry out, <laughs> and and that's my thing. I was just kind of like, I'm just really enjoying this for whatever reason, or or you know, that's 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 me. It it's was, just hitting all those childhood notes for you. Maybe, yeah. maybe that's what it was, you know. Um, and it's not even like, oh, this is a dramatic part of the movie. No, it's it's it wasn't that. It was just. It's kind of like, oh, Legos. Oh, oh well, I yeah. think you hit it. Like, there's there's some sort of connection. And interestingly enough, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to quote Ken Parks, who's a brilliant man and a wonderful friend, writer, director, funny guy, genius. <laughs> um, uh, he was talking to me about story, and he said, 
Everybody wants to find themselves in a show. Everyone wants to find themselves in a story. Everyone wants to look on stage and see that person and say, that's me. And I think that that's, that's absolutely true when we're watching things and when we're getting invested in a story. We just, we want to look at it and we want to say, oh, that's, that is me, mm -hmm. isn't it? You know, so, um, and again, I think we've done pretty well talking about the movie without talking about the yeah. movie. I don't know if there's any, any big points that you wanted to make about it other than, um, I remember the first time that we were talking about it, you just said, gosh, how good. I mean, it's... It, it's, it's doing well. It rings true. Yeah. I mean, it's not just like, oh, that was fun. It's it's one of those movies that stands out because it's so unique. I mean, it's so brilliant. It's not just a novelty movie. There really is a compelling story behind it, and I think you hit it right on the head there, saying mm -hmm. we all want to see ourselves in the movie. I mean, one, it covers all areas of Lego. I mm -hmm. mean, you, know, you already know, I'm sure, Batman's in it, so they hit a lot of the franchise pieces. There's you know, pirates and girly stuff, and I mean, there's something for everybody who's ever played with Lego in this movie. But mm -hmm. then you have the main character too, who mm -hmm. his main quality is that he is average and they just play that as far as they can go. I think it would be important to note that, um, I don't know if you caught it, our, our, our special guest, our very first special guest on TMI, whose video right. we featured um, as actually, and, and maybe I'm not... I know his name, but I'm not saying it because I want you to go through our videos and look. <laughs> we haven't had that many special guests. It won't take you that long. Subtle, although, oh, okay, there it is. And um, <laughs> if you look at the video that we featured on our episode, it was actually in the film. Did mm -hmm. you catch it? I did. I yeah, was I was like, hey, side. there it is. I was and like, yes, was. awesome. And, and so uh, just, just for a blip. And so uh, I won't tell you where it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tim's not going to tell you uh, where it is. Probably not. And so um, I guess we've sent you on a little homework. Sure. Anything else you wanted to say? Yeah, gosh. Uh, great movie. Definitely go see it. I think one of the great things, again, like I said, very unique film. Um, really, I think the special thing about the Lego movie, it was able to do something that I don't think many movies could What's get that? away with it. Just the fact that it was so over the top. Oh, ridiculously! <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm telling everybody. I told Michael this. Will Arnett is like the greatest person ever to voice Batman, which is many Conroy. people. <clears throat> as no, Michael's doing. Doing. no, 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 no. But, but, but honestly, I mean, uh, Kevin Conroy, for all intents and purposes, is our um, is our cartoon childhood and video game. He's he's become the serious voice, you know, of Batman. It's true. Uh, but however, when it comes to because there is an and and. I'm really tired of the um, the bad online Christian Bale Batman um, <laughs> that everybody does, you know. Uh, oh, where's Harvey Dent? Yeah, you know, one. it's kind of like, I, uh, I get it. And and there are some people that, that find it hilarious. That's why you can find it hilarious, but I'm kind of just like, I, I don't know. Um, a, f a funny Batman was always hard for me to come by, but if there is going to be the king of funny Batman, it is Will Arnett. It really is. Um, I think he... He kind of pulled. Uh, it's funny because I can I can sit here and dissect it. I'm like I think he really pulled a lot of different Batman's together, and he probably just could have been like I just Including did a voice. Including that bad, <laughs> but he could have just been oh, like I, I just did a voice, man. Like I wasn't even thinking about it. So who knows? Right. You know, uh, I would love to see footage of him and everybody in studio. Uh, it's, know, it's available so. online. Is it? Yeah. They, even including Liam Neeson doing Good Cop, Bad Cop. Good Cop, Bad Cop. Also brilliant. Uh, and now I'm gonna plug Ricky Gervais's. Um, uh, him and Stephen Merchant. Oh, why am I blanking on it? With Warwick Davis. Life's Too Short. Okay. Life's Too Short. This is a great episode with Liam Neeson. That's all I'm going to say mm -hmm. is that you know, you guys need to go out, seek it, and we're going to share it with everyone. Well, thanks for tuning in today on our short little movie review. And mm -hmm. I think we were pretty good on spoiler. Yeah, we said clear. a lot of good yeah. things. And no go. spoilers there. <laughs> so we're, uh, we're all set. All right. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next time. Go see the Lego movie. Again. <laughs> And remember, if you have any questions or want to have a topic answered on a future episode, go ahead and email us at tmi.art.productions at gmail.com. Hear that? That's my art box.